Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss how to enable badges. Every now and then you may want to show your users how uh, secure you are by uh, presenting to them a badge of trust. Uh, and here at Security we do offer that. So let's go ahead and get started. On the left hand side, when you first log in, you're going to see the little collapsible panel here called badges. Simply click on website badges. Once here, you're going to want to enable the seal for a specific site. This is very important because then now we'll be able to give you a, um, an accurate report of the status of it. Now notice that there's a, four different seals. So let's see what happens when I enable seal. When you enable it, scroll down, it's going to give you the code for every single seal. And then that's what you're going to want to pull in um, when you require it. So for instance, I like this one to the left, my favorite. So let's go ahead and copy that. Control C. You could also um, highlight it, copy it, okay? You're now going to want to go to your WP Admin panel. Now, the way WordPress works with widgets, it's going to add it to your sidebar, and that's where most people will want to do it. They'll also probably want to put it in their footer, uh, but for me, I'll just put it right here on the right-hand side. So I'll open up my WP Admin. I'm going to go to Appearance, go to Widgets, click on Widgets, and I'm simply going to grab one of my text widgets and I'm going to drag it in here. I'm going to put it just below the search. I'm going to take and I'm going to paste the code that I just copied from my WP da or from my security dashboard. I apologize. Go ahead and save that. Go back to your website, refresh it. And just like that, you've added your badge, your seal. You click on it, you'll see what the user has provided. The reason this says the link provided is not valid is because it still hasn't propagated. So give it a little bit of time when you first add it, especially if your site is brand new like mine is. It has to scan before this will be populated. Once that scans, this will pop up, but the header will look the same. You'll just have valid information. Okay, I hope this helps you. And if you have any questions, as always, remember, you could always submit a general request to us. Take care.